So how do you make a deck of cards using the dexterous inbuilt layouts? So these are the layouts here, but before we click on them, I'm just going to head over to my images tab here, go into our fantasy characters folder. Here I've got these fantasy characters that I want to use for my game. So I've uploaded these already. And I realized that I also want some icons. So I've got a folder here on my computer um, with these little icons here. And I'm just going to select those icons. And you can now just drag and drop that straight into this um, zone here. It lights up like that. And then that will upload um, those icons for me. Now they're nice white icons that will go well um, with these guys. So you can close that out and that will eventually upload in the background as you work. Head back to the Layouts tab. I've already got some layouts here. So a layout is like a um, visual template that all your cards will follow. Um, I've got some that I've already set up in my layouts list here, but I want to click this button here to view the dexterous layouts and they'll load in here. You can select any of any of these ones that you like the look of. Uh, I'm going to go with this fantasy silhouettes version two. So I'm going to save the layout and that will actually appear now in my layouts list here. So this is now a layout that is associated with my account. I can use this layout for any of my projects. Um, so now that that's done, I'm going to head over to a project. If you don't have a project, you can create a new one. If you've already got projects, you can just add um, a deck to an existing project. So I'll show you how to do that. It's the same process either way. You either create a new project or click an existing project. Um, this is some cards that I was making with Dad the other night for a game we were playing. So I've got some cards, I've got some tokens. These are different components, and I'm going to make a new component, which is a set of cards. So I click plus up here to create component. We want to go with an existing layout. So the layout um, that we selected just before the fantasy silhouettes one. So I'll just click yes. And if you see there, that little untitled component um, gets created and it's saying, hey, what layout should I be? So I'm a deck of cards, but what should I look like? So, well, we're going to say, this is what you should look like. You should look like this one. So I'm selecting that by clicking that little tick icon. And if I go back here now, we can see, ah, the first card has the correct layout in place. And these are all the default values here. We can just make this a little bit bigger here by um, zooming in. That might be helpful. And I can rename it up here. So I'll just call this our fantasy creatures or something like that. So yeah, hit rename. That's done. Now what I have is this uh, deck editor. I've got cards here. So I can duplicate this card or create new ones. In this case, it's actually going to do exactly the same thing. Um, yeah, I've got this table down here. Now, this table maps directly to the card. So, for example, if I click on this card, you can see this row highlight. So, this card, in a way, it is this row. It's watching this row, and if anything changes down here, it will change up here. So, let me show you what I mean. So, this can be, let's give him a really intelligent name, like Tree Breaker. Here we go. So, that's just typing straight onto there. And this next row is, of, you know, I'll call this guy a knight. Um, and so, so on and so forth. The different zones on the card map directly to the table. Now, obviously, it doesn't make much sense for this guy to be called a knight when he looks like a giant. So if I click this here, this is the image. You can see it's highlighted with a little square there. Um, we'll leave him as the, as the tree breaker. That's fine. This guy's a knight. So I'm going to navigate to um, our fantasy characters folder. And I'll just click on the knight. There we go. You can see our nice little icons have loaded in there. If I click on the knight, it, it just loads in like that. And so the next um, creature, I'll just go along here and I'll grab an archer and maybe I'll grab a wizard who looks like this guy. So, of course, you can rename all these guys, you know, so you can go along here and fill out these. So... And of uh, Gondolf, I should say. Sorry, excuse me. Um, and then once you've filled these out, um, you're ready to print. And to print, all you have to do is come here. Oh, let me let's say actually, of these uh, of these giants, we actually want three, four of those guys. We want two knights, three knights. Yeah, that's that's fine for my little game here. Obviously, you you type in all this other stuff. Then you can hit print. And you can see here we've got four giants, three knights, and one archer and one 
wizard and we're good to go. So you hit export up here, print to PDF, and there it is. It's all ready to go.